Well, it's done, y'all. Step one of corn crib conversion is underway. Who needs a jungle gym? Yep, we <laughs> can't see them. Cows, I mean calves out there frolicking on their beach. This is already going amazingly well. He got shocked. Okay, change of plans right now. Talking a lot of bull this morning. See what I did there? Big bull, baby bull. <laughs> if you can't appreciate my humor, I understand. Come on, BB. It's starting to rain. It's not cold though. I mean, it's cool, but it's not cold. So we'll take that. <sighs> Just as soon as it was starting to dry up, that's what we get. Every single tap. Excuse me, oh, hold on. Stall. Yeah, it's weird not having to feed the other group this morning. I'll make this part a little faster. Don't have to go in but one lot with the bucket. It's just still really bumpy because it has the ground is hard and some probably won't be the case tomorrow looks like we're gonna double up on silage and hay at the same time some bells we got from our friend Gabe thank you Gabe I'm gonna hold things down here while we go feed yeah okay Thank you. Breaking in my libs today. Yeah. It was warm enough to not have to wear my insulated ones. They're doing good. Weather is just, it's just like messy. It's just enough to be really annoying. A heavy, heavy, well, it's not even a mist right now. It's actually raining. Eat up, girls and boy, man. Bull. Sorry. I thought you were a little bit darker than that, but you're not. Introducing the grandparents to the grand sheep. <laughs> Hi, babies. <laughs> Get some more babies. Yeah. <laughs> He's saying slower, Wesley. <laughs> He's blind. Really? Yeah, yes. Yeah, I see. I see. It's, <laughs> I know. it's so long. Yeah. Elmo. Oh. 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 <laughs> hey, y'all, back in the kitchen. Um, This is not really a cooking episode per se, okay? Just really short, but I wanna show you this thing I made. Yeah, cause it's amazing. I mean, I think it's gonna be amazing. What I just tasted out of the bowl was amazing. So looky here, y'all. I had a bunch of mashed potatoes left over. So I put them in the microwave, warmed them up a little bit, put a little more half and half, and then I mixed them with some cheese. These Colby Jack cheese and that's for a salad later and some green onions and some bacon bits and I mixed it up and then I put it in my skillet and then I put more of all that stuff on the top I mean except for the half and half obviously and then I'm just gonna bake that and that is going to go with are you ready for it are you ready boom because you know what makes this a truly super Tuesday ribeyes yeah there you go what what do we have here what are we gonna put on our steaks not being a sausage y'all that's my daughter's go-to lunch a lot of days you can judge me she likes them i don't care all right we have regular musket powder 
that I love. And we have this new musket powder. This is the hot, hot, hot musket powder. Um, the red label. It's very original, right? Red label, get it? Um, so I don't know. I'm thinking I might try it on a couple or one for my husband. I'm not I'm not a big hot, I'm not a big hot fan, but um I might put it on his and then eat a bite and see <laughs> see what it's like. So Anyway, this stuff really is amazing. If you haven't tried it yet, go to musketpowder.com. Use code TFW. Save yourself 10%. And get your shake on. See what I did there? The more the better, they say. And I've done this before, and it was really good. Okay, here we go. This one that's open? Yes. All right. Oh, you know what I'm gonna have to do though? I'm gonna have to mark, I'm gonna have to remember which one is the hot one. Oh wow, this could be a problem. Because short term memory, see last video. All right, I'll figure this out. Here we go, y'all. They've been, they've been sitting a little while. They're ready. Hey, look at this. Y'all, I wish you could smell it. It's, Pretty amazing. Gosh, my oven needs cleaning again. We'll just close the door on that. Okay, here we go. All right, here's the hot one. Here's the hot one. I'm just gonna remember, it's at the top. As long as I keep my pan positioned like that, I should be good. Isn't that the sound of just glory? I mean, I think it is. You'll probably get tired of me showing you steak. I'm sorry. It's just it's just who I am. It's what I do. I fry steak and butter. And it's it's just the best part of our sustenance here. That's such a big word, but I think I used it correctly. Maybe. Hopefully. Okay, starting to see red, which means flip. Ooh, I also smell my potatoes. I don't know if I'm not burning them. It's time to don my butter mitt. And now for the best part, I mean one of the best parts, just pour that grease right on the top. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, wild. I don't even know what's happening here. Anyway, that was really good. Full belly. Happy clean skillets. The hot, the red label, musket official or gun, gunpowder, as my husband calls it, was good. He said it was very good. So, he said he could tell a little difference for sure, but he liked it. So, there you have it. Red label, black label was all good. I think that's gonna be it for today. We're gonna call it a night, aren't we, Bonnie? Wait. Bonnie said <laughs> she got some she got some fat trimmings and she was happy for it, weren't you, baby? So it wasn't enough, it's never enough. Somebody somebody's gonna have to start walking instead of riding. So you're getting a little belly on them. What do you think about that? Hmm? Just feed me, Mama. Just feed me more steak. I deserve it. <laughs> Kitchen is closed. Well, it's done, y'all. The crib is power washed. Step one of corn crib conversion is underway, or it's happened. Next, there's gonna be a clear sealant put on it, and then the inside work will begin. 
<laughs> that video of me power washing. I did not do all of this. I only did part of it. The person, there is somebody helping me, but they do not want to be on the video. <laughs> so, I am going to be respectful and not show them, but I do want y'all to know that if you've wondered if there are still good people in the world, yes, there are. And the person helping with this project is one of them. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm getting super excited. This is all going to happen, y'all. It's going to happen this spring. And I am just tickled pink. Tickled black, gray, red, white, blue. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's see. It's March, what, 3rd? Yeah. yeah. No, 4th. Two kids decided fourth. they were going to sleep outside hey, well, since it's so warm. It's going to be, what, in the 40s? Yeah, like 45. early. Early. Early, early, for, early 40s. Early. <laughs> okay, well, y'all look snug as a bug in a rug. Is there a dog yeah. in here? No, not no. yet. Oh. We're going to put Claire, or Gus, somebody. Claire. Somebody. Somebody. Here. We can put both. <laughs> 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 All right, well, you're really, they're, they're really roughing it out here on the porch. But that's yeah. a good place to be, <laughs> close to the house. Yeah. All right, well, sleep tight. Okay, Don't let the bed bugs bite. Got a window. You have a window. You're gonna read. I am. Oh, I forgot this whole book. book. I'm gonna read this whole book. Whole you read book. the whole book. The whole wow. book. Oh, oh this is like smooth. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, feel that. <laughs> oh, it is smooth pages. All right. Like have fun. Love right, you. See, See you in the Night. morning. Night. Night. Well, the sun is gone. Maybe it'll come back. But we didn't get a whole lot of rain a couple days ago, so that's good. Also, I feel like Stony Ridge Farmer this morning. Josh, do you have your denim liberties on this morning? <laughs> They're awesome. Okay, gotta hold on. There's Panda, she says hi. places. It's <laughs> getting some more of the rotten off the top.
she'll stop here and wait on us. Watch and see. Yep. <laughs> Cool hair you got going on there this morning. It's like bedhead. <laughs> this one out even though it's not much warmer in here <laughs> and it smells like rat not goodness okay come on you want to get in with me yes all right tell everybody good morning or good afternoon or good evening or whenever anybody anyone watches this bonnie says hi I keep forgetting to come out here and meet him. This is me running, jogging. Yeah. I keep forgetting that we're going to the other other ones first before we come back here. Oops. Hey, the sun's coming out. That's good. The last of two, two buckets. It's gonna be it, y'all. unload this last load and he said just leave the gate open and I said that feels pretty dangerous and, and then we saw some cows walking this way and he said yeah probably right it's a lot easier to close the gate than to get them up or get them back in Probably, or cow, not the wheelhouse door off. They do get into everything they can find, that's for sure. That's all she wrote. That's the end of the line. That's the end of the line. <laughs> he was just saying, made it through. Made it through the whole feeding season without having to fix anything no. on the wagon on the, silage wagon on the silage wagon in the last few years he's had to do something to it barons or whatever so that's good come on bonnie come on doodle i don't know it's all a little bittersweet to me to be like done what's next for the cows Feeding wise. I feed them hay and shelled corn. Hay and shelled corn. All right, well, made it, made it. You said he predicted that we would feed until. First week in March, the feeding side was missed by two days. Only missed it by two days. That's pretty close. Down to the wire on the bean hay too. We've only got two more bales left of that. <laughs> it's just a day for running out of things. All the things. All the things that we need to feed the cows. <laughs> Here they come. The last two bales. The last two bales of that bean hay that we, that we baled at night. Were y'all around for that? If not, I'll link it. It was, it was, Interesting. I, I don't know. I feel kind of attached to this hay. That was an interesting experience. Do you remember? Our night bailing? Yeah. That was fun. Not. <laughs> Dusty. Dark. But we did it. I'm pretty proud of that, actually. 
bunch of hay planted. We ain't got nothing left, nothing. The barley where the river got over and killed half of it. Yeah, that's true. Well, I was trying to look at the bright side. You're looking at the realistic side. Yeah, I struggle with the realistic side sometimes. I'm the dreamer. He's the doer. I don't know. I've done a few things. You never thought this many people would be watching our YouTube channel with us, did you? Nope. Nope. <laughs> I didn't either. In one week, that's 14 bales just to feed these two. I can't group up with mouses. They're going to eat a, a big bear like this every day and a half. But this, these cows here, we get the fence up down on that creek bottom. They got a week or so of grass down there. Maybe that'll help. All right. We'll make it. We always do. We'll get another load of hay from the game. dryer. I took the strings off. Calves were trying to eat the strings. Calves are silly. Here girl. I know. Eat up. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> okay. I gotta get back to my ride. I know. I'm so scary. I'm so scary. Right? <laughs> Got visitors. There's a little girl walking up the road with a banana in each hand. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hey, Clarabelle. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Two bananas. Woo. Hey, Bonnie. Where you been? <laughs> Hi, Bonnie. Still a little mud. Who needs a jungle gym when you have a... Sally's wagon. <laughs> Where'd it go? Make like those little things in your hands. Blisters. Yeah, <laughs> calluses. Yeah, calluses. <laughs> Alrighty. It's gonna be a pretty day. Mm -hmm. Go finish your school so you can play. Yeah. You sound like a plan? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do it to it. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> do it. I'm Can you just remind me what we're going to do? We're going to put the three strand fence up. I made a mistake trying to push the stuff off of it. Got it caught in the track. I had to cut the wire. We're going to get it up so the calves won't get in there. And then when I finish cleaning the one strand fence off, we got it. Cut a section out and push the corn stubble over. Okay, we're going to fix some fence. I missed uh, yesterday he dozed. He bulldozed? Pushed all the corn stubble off. Pushed all the corn stubble off. I'll show you. Down at the bottom, we gotta fix some fence to keep calves, cows, calves out or in. <laughs> Both. Either or. Huh? Yeah, they're getting in the field. Oh, okay. Yep, we <laughs> can't see them. Cows, I mean calves out there frolicking on our beach. I'm calling it our beach. <laughs> it's down, down all the way.
the way down. We'll drive down there later. This is already going amazingly well. He's got the switch cut off, but uh, there's still juice on it somewhere because we just put those two wires together. He got shocked. <laughs> I don't know. It never fails. Literally never fails. He doesn't know why, so he's trying to figure out what the deal is. He's going to throw the entire all the fence. So you flip the switch that should have cut that part off, but something's not right with that. So he's throwing all the fence over here off till we get this patched. And it's just gonna get patched today. It's not gonna get completely fixed, but hopefully patched enough where we can keep the calves out of the field. <laughs> They're curious. They're like curious cats. Like you said, there's hardly nothing to eat over there, but they just, they gotta get out in there. You gotta see what there is to see. I'm trying to run them back through. Like herding cats. Yeah, you need to call your baby back. That's what you need to do. Okay. Tell me to back up the hill a little bit, but don't let the cows out. And I'll try not to. Yeah. Good babies. Only, only one being silly. Yeah. Go find your mama. Oh, come on. It just never fails. It just never fails. It's always gonna be one. It's always gonna be the last one too. Did you know that? It's true. <laughs> Come on, turtle. All right. Well, they're splicing two pieces of wire together. You got the splicing. Well, what do you call that? Crimp. I ain't got the pliers to crimp them with. He doesn't have the pliers to crimp them. That's just what I said. I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> okay, well, that was not exactly fun, but that part's done, and we'll go tighten them up. You were here for the one where I talked about it being a beach. This is all that corn stubble that got pushed down here from the flooding. And yesterday he took a bulldozer and dozed it all, pushed it all back. I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of that. I was at the library loading a YouTube video and missed it. <sighs> Makes me mad, but anyway, that's that. He did it in the short order. Like you did in I a couple play. laps. You don't play. No, you don't. You get stuff done. <laughs> ah, that looks good. That's a sure enough mess. Oh. Is that just one strand? Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. I've done. He's going to do it. I'll cut that and just tie it back out and run these through. We got to replace some posts too. Mm -hmm. That stinks. That fence ain't even old. See, there's one missing. There it lays. There it lies. There it lies. There it lays just had that lesson in vocabulary with my son, but I do not remember which one to use. Can I get this? Is 
closes it down all the way around the field. Yeah, Pretty much. I mean, if you can see it up right there. Yeah. Down up here where they lost the post and the post washed down. Let's talk about that. He said he has, we have a backwards ditch, which doesn't surprise me. It's a ditch that goes upriver. Is that what you're saying? Okay. Okay. And it's working. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, there's no water in it. All sorts of stuff hanging in the trees. Okay, new change of plans right now. So this, all this mess right here actually pushed up under the fence, which is good. He's gonna bring the dozer over and we got it. We just got it where I can lift it up. We got it untangled. So he'll bring the dozer back and push it back down there. And that'll make fixing this a little easier. There he's found another post, post down. I'm gonna pull a little bit more of this junk off of here. We'll get to see the dozer work after all. It's not our dozer, it's a borrowed dozer from a friend. I'll just answer that question. Can't tell you anything about it, don't know anything about it, but you'll see it in just a minute. I'm pretty sure he's having trouble getting it started. I hear it beeping and I hear him doing something with a steering wheel maybe. <sighs> and that would be par for the course. Yeah. Sure would. <laughs> oh. Okay, he's now getting off of the dozer again. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, well. Maybe we're not going to do this today. No, I don't think we are. He's getting back in the truck. He's going to come pick me up. <laughs> oh well another day another time like tomorrow okay I had several questions in the last video um, about our freezer beef that we grow out and sell or have packaged so I was going to let Lawrence address that real quick so uh, several people asked why um why we slaughter calves versus cows why we don't let them grow bigger and then um well that's the biggest thing so how do we go through that process and how old are they like what what's an average weight when they're processed when we take them to the slaughterhouse we usually go on average a thousand to 1200 pounds the under 30 months old it's a voluntary thing to slaughter cattle under 30 months old. It's a recommendation and, in recommend, our state. Yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. they tender than you would if you kept them, if you killed an old cow that was 10 years old and she, you'd have to put her on feed and she still wouldn't be as tender as a young calf. And no, really nobody wants to, if I kept them till they were 30 months old, you got a carcass weight of 1,800 pounds and versus what versus a, well i mean you got a, a a hoof weight of 1800 pounds instead of a thousand to 1200 pounds mm -hmm. so uh nobody wants to pay that much for all that meat the most of my customers you know uh it costs it would cost a lot more to feed one out yeah. that long too because yeah. you've, you've seen how much we feed we feed them we yeah. feed them well and we believe in finishing them on grain so that's what we do just think it makes more tender marbleized meat and we have steady base of customers that come back every year that love it a lot of people have said we need to expand and do more and we've opted not to do that it's just something else we'd have to get we'd have to get permanent freezer walk-in cooler and and deal with all that so we keep it kind of small scale once a year everybody has to be here to pick it up We'll be showing that in a few weeks. And um, anyway, it's good. It's good meat. We could sell more of it. Yeah, but you have to basically run a store. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. that's time to run a store and a farm. And a YouTube channel. I don't know. 
<laughs> All right, thank you. What else? Oh, I know. Someone else asked why some of the cows and calves that we feed get silage and some get corn. and si They've all been getting silage up until yesterday. Some of them do not get the corn. We've been feeding the corn to the ones that we just took to slaughter and then a group of heifers. Right, yearling heifers. Yearling heifers, so you just do that to give them a little extra oomph push That's right. That's right. before they go out with the herd. So. Okay, he doesn't agree. Well, why? The better shape the heifer, the yearling heifers in the more susceptible they are to getting bred. To bred back, to breeding back. Yeah, to breeding. breeding, not breeding back, just getting bred for the first time. The better condition they're in hopefully the easier they will be to get bred because heifers heifers can be hard to get bred harder to get bred than an older cow um heifers just have all their own issues at times <laughs> harder to breed and heifers don't have it much issue but the better shape they are the easier to get bred all right the first calf and heifers are the hardest ones most of the time to get bred because they have a calf at two years old and it's all new to them and they really hadn't finished growing to their potential and then they're raising the calves so it's a little more stress on them than third and fourth and so forth calf. Okay. There you go. Hope that answered some questions. Thank you.